So just to introduce myself, Renee, he, him, I'm on unceded Ohlone lands in Oakland. And um, the East Bay Meditation Center has been my spiritual home for the last 13, 14 years now. And I, um, it's very meaningful to me one of the early times when I came to Alphabet or something else at the East Bay Meditation Center that one of my teachers, Larry Yang, said, I invite you to consider the East Bay Meditation Center one of your spiritual homes. And I, um, you know, it was like kind of a surprising invitation. It was like, oh, when do I ever get invited into a home? Um, and I took that invitation really seriously, even though I think at the time I didn't even quite know what it meant. But over the years, I've really grown into this place being a home for me and a refuge. And um, that's been finding more ways to be supported in this community and also finding more ways to offer support to the community. And over time, that's meant taking on different leadership roles. It's meant stepping into this role of teacher eventually. Um, I've been teaching for the last, last five years or so. So it's an uh, invitation that continues to ripple out in my life. So I invite you all also to consider the East Bay Meditation Center one of your spiritual homes and to discover what that might mean for you if you want to take up that invitation. Um, I'm now one of the core teachers at the East Bay Meditation Center and um, serve on the program committee and many other roles. So um, as we get started tonight, I'm going to invite us into some practice. So we'll take about 30 minutes in practice and I'll be guiding us into some practice with gratitude. I'm going to invite the bell to move us into practice. As we get started with our practice this evening, I invite you to take a minute here at the beginning just to check in with your body, see if there's anything Maybe drop in the question, how could I be more comfortable? Maybe just a little bit more comfortable as we start practice this evening. So we invite in the quality of gratitude. Just invite us all to bring care to the body in opening to that practice. Maybe just even starting with offering some gratitude to our own bodies, feeling all of the ways that our body is supporting us. And right now, I know my body is digesting food and making it into all of the nutrients that I need. My body is taking in oxygen and nourishing my blood, it's hydrating me, doing so many things to support my life, support my practice. And so I'm gonna check in with my body, see if there's anything else I could do in this moment to make my body a little bit more comfortable. So maybe adjusting, we might adjust our posture, maybe, um, adjusting to lying down or standing up, maybe bringing in a little movement if our body um, could be supported or soothed with a little movement. Making any adjustments our body needs right now to be comfortable. So just taking a minute in silence to, to get comfortable.
And as we continue with this practice, I will be inviting in different elements to inspire gratitude, different elements we may have gratitude for. And I also invite you, if you have your own practice, to just let my voice be a background for that practice. Everything is an invitation and we can take what feels beneficial and leave the rest. I'm letting my voice be a sound as you focus on your own practice. In moving into cultivating this heart quality of gratitude, I invite us to start with the earth and our connection to the earth. Taking a moment to tune into our awareness of our body, whatever position we're in, feeling the connection between our body and whatever we're resting on. You may have a sensation of contact or pressure between our body and our seat or our bed or the floor, whatever we're coming to rest on. And just really feeling that contact. Just inviting in this quality of gravity that's acting upon our body that lets us know that we're right here in contact with the earth under us. And gravity holds us so firmly to the earth. This mysterious force that is connecting us every moment to our home, to the way that the earth is apparent to us providing us with support. Gravity can be there at every moment to remind us of that connection. And we may feel it acting on our body, feel it in a sense of the weight that our body has, the pressure that's created between our body and whatever we're resting on. Just letting that contact bring our awareness to the earth under us. And just inviting in the quality of gratitude for this earth that is our home. Maybe feeling gratitude for the specific place that we live. nor the places that we grew up in. We may also extend our gratitude to the people who have been stewards of the lands that we live on, feeling how this connection between humans and the earth has gone back in this place for millennia including this connection of humans offering gratitude to the earth. And sparking our own gratitude towards the earth, we're connecting with many, many people, peoples before us who have been in this particular relationship to the earth.
we may also bring our awareness to the ways that we're made up of the very same elements, same minerals as the earth itself. Our bodies are an extension of earth, a part of it inseparable from earth. And continuing to widen the circle of our gratitude and think next of the quality of or element of water. You may notice the ways that our own body is made up of water, you may feel the moisture in our, in our eyes, our eyelids. We may notice it in our mouths. We may feel the blood pumping in our veins, knowing that we're made up. And much of what we're made up of is water. And also knowing that much of this planet that we are on is also covered in water. There may be waterways, bodies of water, lakes, oceans, rivers that we live near or have a relationship to that we want to bring to mind. There are manifestations of water that have been meaningful to us. You know, thinking of waterfalls, rivers, ocean. You know, Lake Merritt that I visit every day. I was just thinking of all of these bodies of water and the water within me with gratitude, feeling how water is nourishing, nourishing me. If we're in places with rain and thunder, maybe thinking also of the rain with gratitude, feeling how it's nourishing the earth helping plants to grow, extending any gratitude that arises towards this element of water that gives us life. Continuing to extend our gratitude outwards, I invite in awareness of the quality of air. In this moment, we can tune in to our breath, just noticing maybe the coolness of the breath coming into our body. We may notice it in our nostrils. 
Can we notice the ways that the air is nourishing our body, nourishing our blood? With each in-breath, and releasing that which no is no longer needed with our out breath. We may also bring our awareness to the way that we're in a cycle of life with plants through our breath, breathing in oxygen and breathing out elements that nourish the plants around us. In this perpetual cycle of life here on this planet with our atmosphere that's so perfectly suited to nourish us, to keep us alive and healthy. This quality of air that's all around us. You may also feel just the spaciousness of the sky. If the sky is visible to us through a window, we're just thinking of the sky that we saw today. How it holds us with so much spaciousness. And holds this atmosphere that offers us life. It's bringing our gratitude to this quality of air. And continuing to open our circle of gratitude to the element of fire. As we tune into our own bodies, we may find this element in the warmth of our own body. Maybe the beating of our heart any subtle movements that we notice, this life force that's in us. We may feel just the subtlety of energy moving in our body. Bringing to mind also the sun that brings us light and warmth and nourishment every day without fail. The sun comes up to light our day, to nourish plants and animals, to warm us. this element of fire and all the ways that we've harnessed this element of fire to cook our food, to move ourselves around the planet, making energy and the products that we use for our life. feeling the life-giving force of fire and extending our gratitude to this element of fire inside ourselves and outside of ourselves.
as we continue this practice of gratitude. Just noticing what else comes up as we open up this space of gratitude. It may be that what comes to mind is a meal that we had to see today and the delicious tastes and nourishing qualities of the food. You may think of all those who helped bring us that food to the earth itself, sun, rain, and air that has nourished that food. We may extend our gratitude to people in our lives. Maybe someone who offered us some bit of kindness today. Maybe even just coming to community tonight, to Sangha, and finding some comfort or refuge here. Maybe there's some gratitude for others who've shown up to practice with us. We may extend gratitude to a teacher or mentor, someone who's helped uh, to guide us. You may extend gratitude to animals or other beings who've brought us joy today. Maybe our animal companions or the birds that we hear when we wake up. We may want to offer gratitude to our ancestors, our lineages, cultures, to wisdom that we've received. and coming back to offering gratitude also to ourselves for showing up, showing up to practice all the ways that we support, companion, befriend ourselves, even if just by continuing to be present for what is difficult. Continue this practice of gratitude in silence for about five minutes or so. And just inviting in anything else that we're feeling great, grateful for right now. Continuing to fan the flames of any gratitude that's been sparked in this practice. Thinking of it in, as an ember we can blow on to continue to cultivate this heart quality of gratitude. And we'll continue on our own in silence for five minutes or so.
as we come towards the end of the practice, if there has been a quality of gratitude that's arisen for you as we've practiced, even if it's just been moments of feeling this heart quality of gratitude, just making a kind of a bookmark or a mental note of this quality and reminding ourselves that the path to this heart quality that can be quite resourcing is this practice of turning our mind towards those things that we're grateful for. It might mean just taking a few minutes, maybe at the end of our day or some other time, the start of our day, to tune into something that we're grateful for. And it's something as simple as a sunset or a meal, uh, some time with a friend or a child or loved one or a pet. That this, sometimes even when practice doesn't feel accessible, this quality of gratitude can be accessed through turning our minds to the things that we have received and are grateful for. And once again, offering ourselves gratitude for showing up and making the effort of practice this evening. I'm going to invite the sound of the bell to bring our practice to a close. Thank you all for your practice.